In addition to converter topologies, magnetics area is an equally important area. In a few experiments here, we'll try to enlighten some of the most important magnetics features in the switching converters. However, before we can even look and assess magnetic phenomena, we have to have a device by which we should be able to look at the flux and currents in the switching converters. For that reason, one has to have a specially this demonstrated and designed BH loop tester, which will allow us to look at the magnetic phenomena. Here is a basic circuit diagram of the BH loop tester, where the device under test is a core with a single winding, which is excited with a square wave voltage with a zero net average. Then, in order to sense the flux, we use voltage sense winding, one turn winding, and by separate box which integrates that volt seconds, we are assessing the flux, and if we dial the core cross-sectional area of the core, we can essentially divide that flux with the cross-section of the core and get the reading of the flux density. On the horizontal scale, we can have a small current sense resistor which will sense via voltage the current in this winding and display it on uh, horizontal coordinate as uh, corresponding ampere turn excitation. Of course, we have to uh, use the length of the core to, as a proportionality factor to come up with that uh, correct uh, scaling. In the circuit that we have here, on a vertical, we will display the flux density in uh, Teslas and on a horizontal scale in ampere turns per centimeter the um, excitation. Let us show the setup of the BH loop tester, which has several features to it. We can set the uh, circuit under test or device, magnetic device under test on the matrix board. We can drive it with the voltage source here and in series with that we have a capacitor to ensure that there is a zero net AC voltage uh, across the winding. And uh, then we have a voltage sense winding, which is internally connected to the integrator. With this dial, we can dial uh, the cross-section area of the core. And here we dial the cross-section of a core in a ranges of uh, 0 0.1, 1, and 10 millimeters squared. We have several controls. Uh, we can change the drive voltage um, in um, synchronism in such a way that we can have uh, from 0 to plus 30 and minus 30 volts applied to the winding. Then we can change the duty cycle of the switch, and we can change the switching frequency in two ranges from 0.1 megahertz to 1 megahertz and from 10 to 100 kilohertz. In this experiment, we will be using the 10 to 100 kilohertz range. Then we have a two outputs, vertical output and horizontal output, which are coupled to the scope. We will be looking at the two types of the waveforms. One scope will be dedicated to look at the x, y output, which will give us the BH loop of the magnetic material. And we will be also looking on another scope at the time domain pictures of the two outputs. If we now go to the experimental setup, we can see our BH loop tester. Then uh, unit under test, which is plugged into the matrix board. This is a single winding inductor, which is driven with the voltage source on input side. At the moment, about 15 volts, plus minus 15 volts is applied to the winding. The current sense winding is here, which is internally used to sense the voltage and send it to the horizontal coordinate. The single turn voltage sense winding is shown here for a flux sensing and again through the integral uh, volt second internally to the box and through the dialing the range here we dialed 10 millimeter square range and we dialed 6.3 on uh, this scale 6.3 on this scale such that we have actually dialed the core area of this 2213 pot core which was 63 millimeter square we have also set up the switching frequency here, 40 kilohertz, 
we can set up duty cycle at 0.5, and we can change the voltage. Let us now look some, how some of these changes show up on the time domain waveform on the score.